what is going on guys my name is Mehul and welcome to your fifth required JS tutorial in which I'll be showing you about this define function you can say in required JS now require kind of give us two keywords or two functions you can say which is the require and define for now so in the last tutorial I told you how you can load this custom script after your configuration file is loaded and if I see in the network tab, you see that this file is loaded but since there's nothing in here there's no response so let's just fill it with some response so now let's just say I wanna alert something and it works like a charm so if I want to make use of jQuery in this file what I want to do is I would like to make use of this define function kind of so this define what it would accept is some dependencies which it would work on and then finally a callback function which would be fired when all of these files are loaded alright so now for now I just want a jQuery dependency and this jQuery is the same one just you write here so you have to write here so if I write just ABC here you have to write ABC here only because it is fetching that information from this configuration file so just just make use of this jQuery for now and the next thing you have to do is, is that inside this function you have to pass an argument let's just say dollar which is the most common for jQuery and this dollar what this argument is that whatever this file is returning to this um, required JS is being passed as a parameter in this one and uh, this may seem a little bit weird but when with in the future tutorials when I'll show you that how you can convert your normal JavaScript to you know just the JavaScript which you can make use of in here you'll see that there's a you know a kind of magic happening with jQuery but let's just leave that for the future tutorial because we are just talking about the dependency in this one so yeah so I'll cover that just make me remind about that if I even forget to do, do that tutorial but anyways now we have access to jQuery with the help of this dollar symbol which is the default one for jQuery let's just say body.html hello from the other side and uh, let's just reload this and as you can see we get hello from the other side on the web page and voila the jQuery is loaded as well and as you can see in the networks sources or no networks tab only this jQuery file is loaded by this require file so you know this is an asynchronous call it, is, it was not loaded by default on the page by this HTML page it is being loaded by this required JS on our demand of this define so if I make use of this define and then I make use of this angular as well and then I reload this you can see that angular is loaded again as well and you can see that angular is loaded from the cached version of this um, CDN so it is cached in my browser because you know I may have visited some page which was using the same file and as you can see that this file is not used but this is used because since this was this URL was available for the require to load so cached URL is loaded for this or maybe I should say the CDN URL is loaded for the angular and the default one is loaded for the jQuery because the CDN was available so you know you can just add a lot of dependencies here and then you can accordingly make use of all of those so you can now use angular as well angular.module or whatever that is about angular just check out the angular tutorials and you'll know so yeah so that's all for this one and in the next tutorial I don't know what I'll teach you but that would be awesome so that's all for this one and don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching